Just, all right, Ben, where are we? We're at the uh, we're at the IBM Design Lab, Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> and coming together as we speak. Take a look around. So this is the 13th floor of 590 Madison, New York, New York. Uh, we're standing at the Madison Avenue and 56th corner. And then if you point your camera that way, uh, you're looking there towards, uh, I guess that's north. And uh, we're, we're, we're preparing to move in. What are we looking down on here? That's a great view. This is Madison Avenue. Madison Avenue. Sony building. Uh, so you get in the bottom of the Sony building and uh, you get the Sony Center down the bottom there. Howard Stringer, I remember I interviewed Howard Stringer once, the uh, oh, all the way CEO up there. of Sony right up there somewhere. Can't, I'll, I'll use the zoom on that one. <laughs> That's great. Uh, let's take a look at some of the features here, Ethan. So okay. uh, look at the floor here. So this is uh, the polished concrete floor. Nice. But if you're sort of loft living uh, in a in a midtown um, high rise, kind of interesting. Uh, but I do like what the team's done here. If you look, we've got um, some uh, concrete surface, and then we've got some carpeted surface here. And uh, this building, for those aren't familiar with the building, this building is like triangular, right? So you've got three sides, a side going down there, a side there, and a side running on the top. And essentially, it's very simple. All of this space that you see in front of us here and around all the sides is just kind of modular and fully configurable based on project teams. So Design Lab does projects. We take on work from the business, and we build teams. We build teams from CIO and... Uh, our team in marketing and our agency partners and the teams will sit uh, co-located, uh, increasingly co-located over time in these uh, spaces. So everything about these spaces is configurable. We'll have uh, whiteboards on wheels to break up the team space and furniture. The team can configure however they like depending on who's on the team and how they want to arrange the furniture. All this surface here uh, this core, this core, this is the core of the building here, right? All this surface you'll be able to write on. So we're going to paint this with writable surface. So everything becomes a place to put the work product, and the work product will just unfold as the teams go about doing their work. So these surfaces are writable. We're also installing a little uh, aluminum lip, I believe, top and bottom. And you'll be able to put uh, foam core against uh, against these walls as well, so you can pin stuff to the walls as you need them. So foam core will become an important work surface. What kind of people will be on the teams that are situated here? What kind of skills? Yeah. Uh, we have, uh, so this is a design lab. Um, design is uh, principally uh, in digital stuff, right? Electronic media. Oh, okay. And so it's all the people who are required to go do that, right? So. Um, um, information architects, user experience strategists, content strategists, visual designers, uh, developers, um, and uh, uh, product managers. And in, in our method, uh, which is Agile Scrum, those product managers are called product owners. So product managers, like you, Ethan, are uh, uh, essentially an interface between you know, the business and the business requirements or the end user, if we have an end user for the project, um, or someone who's representing the end user and the technical teams that are going and building. So the crucial sort of management role in lab, we have a very, very flat management structure uh, and, and there is only one role and it's that uh, product manager stroke product owner role. What about some of the subject matter experts who'll be here as well? Yeah, so we have subject matter experts who'll be supporting the team and uh, they're sort of very diverse and we'll also have sort of broad uh, uh, network of subject matter experts dispersed uh, and not co-located or continue to support the team's work here. Uh, but everything from search engine optimization and search engine marketing, marketing strategy, um, design, right? Uh, every aspect of work will be supported with um, subject matter experts. And actually we'll have uh, seating, I do believe, around there. And uh, uh, the other side of the uh, entrance lobby, which you're seeing just beginning to emerge here, uh, for those subject matter experts. So along with the team-based seating, we'll have subject matter experts seating. Now let's go take a look at the lobby. So you're just saying you, you really like how everything's temporary here. Yeah, I really like how everything is totally modular and temporary. So what we're looking at here is the lobby area. So you'll be coming in off the elevator banks. We'll have a reception desk. We'll have some nice Eames furniture to remind us of uh, IBM's heritage and design. You know, we're at the heyday of our design with Charles and Ray Eames and so on in the 60s. And, uh, and, and even this sort of, uh, these walls here, 
uh, that we've made the lobby area out of a fully configurable and uh, rebuildable. We can take them down, put them other places, and so on. And I think that's the spirit of this place, is that um, it changes with the nature of the work, right? Uh, so these, these panels just come apart, and you can uh, put them together in different configurations. So then what are some of the initial projects that we have in flight in the lab? Yeah, well, we have a bunch of really interesting work we're doing. We're working uh, on a bunch of marketing interfaces for IBM.com around our priority growth area. So things like uh, we have an analytics team uh, that's working on um, uh, the analytics digital experience. We have a cloud team that's working on cloud. We have uh, a team around um, uh, uh, some of our uh, you know hardware offerings that we're coming out with. Uh, like uh, Project Troy, Pure, Pure Scale, and so on. We have one of those teams. We have uh, some other categories of work that are coming along, very interesting. We have some platform work we're doing around uh, content APIs and, um, and actually some front-end uh, navigation based around that. So that's more of a sort of, a, a, sort of a, a platform work that would then support whole, cate whole new categories of application, right, that are able to draw on uh, content that's systematically tagged against enterprise uh, taxonomies through an API um, and allow us to um, build much more sort of dynamic and flexible experiences. Oh, this is the uh, kitchenette area, by the way, Ethan. So I, I do believe this area here, which you see has got more, we, we took away the carpet. I believe that's going to be our kitchenette. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm ready. Um, we'll be cooking up some uh, tasty digital delights there. Yeah, yeah. And then we have some really interesting work that we just started uh, with the CMO initiative, uh, which is around these sort of entirely new ideas about uh, marketing experiences. So we have one we're launching at the CMO CIO forum that Ginny's hosting on June 6th, 7th in New York next week, um, uh, which is called Think Marketing. And, uh, and, and it's really an entirely new idea about um, how we market to a new role and how we provide what we're calling a knowledge service. Uh, to that role and selling becomes more of enabling buying right so instead of selling uh, we're, en we're enabling the purchase and uh, you know the thing I've locked on to is I, I want a button in that experience that says um, how can we help you right and then you push the button in, and then you ask the question what happens next and if you start pulling on that string uh, you get to some really interesting thoughts about how we re restructure our entire posture from sort of outbound selling to inbound service and obviously that's a question uh, not just for application development but for the business we have one large conference room for the darren debbie doing work <laughs> <laughs> hey how's it going debbie Hi, yeah it's the, this is the first design happening the design of a spreadsheet with all the uh, contractors for security that's the, the most important design. So, uh, so Ben, uh, yeah. tell me about what happens in this room. I understand there's sort of like a cadence of um, different kinds of artifacts from Agile, but also some of the interfaces and experiences with the subject matter experts. Is that what's happening well, in this space, or I, yeah. this is a big space? This is a big for space, big, right. For big people. I guess we've got <laughs> to work it out. I mean, there are a couple of other things we're doing besides design, and digital design and development. One is, um, We'd really like to build out some capability to help the business around end-to-end um, -end experience design. So we've been focused on a couple of things there. Uh, one is uh, what, what, uh, what are called uh, client journey maps. And so if you just turn the camera around here, these walls here are potentially big enough to start housing some of these sort of client journey maps, which tend to be rather long and complicated, especially given the nature of um, uh, the sorts of client journeys that we need to describe with the complexity of our client's business and, and our own. Uh, and then another is uh, around persona development, right? So, you know, if you're trying to build um, experiences that are uh, tailored to uh, an individual, then a great tool is to have, um, or to use for the teams who are building those experiences, to use these personas, which are really sort of composite arch archetypes uh, that help people relate to the human they're trying to activate or help in some way through the experience. So uh, a couple of uh, ac additional activities we'll be doing now. So Ben, um, the lab's about to open. What's, I mean, 
champagne? What? What's happening? The team's coming Kevin's again. Kevin's pulling anyway. a face behind me, by the way. So you have to get that. Yeah, we got that. We got the. We got the entire distributed team coming in this week, which yeah. is really exciting because, as you know, Ethan, you know, meeting your colleagues at IBM, all of your colleagues at IBM is quite a rare occurrence. So I think there's going to be a lot of energy, a lot of buzz, and uh, I'm, I'm certainly looking forward to that. So we have. Uh, I think in a couple of days we're going to have about 90 people working here. For about a week, awesome. uh, a week in duration, it's going to be a really special time for all of us. So, and that's a sign of things to come. There's going to sure be more is. time, yeah. more people in the lab. That's right. Fantastic, man. Thanks. Thank you.